Now this girl want me and her uterus Fuck it, I'm rich, let's do it Take a look at these diamonds Wrong as a life is squinting Can't you stare? We're bae through thick and thin She already fixed, so I'm halfway there Brown or black Could've changed my mind, I was halfway there 100 meters I just put nine girl in a sprint 100 eaters They won't fit in one SUV Hi guys, welcome to my Phoenix vlog. We're gonna start off, well, we're gonna do our best to start off with just a really quick room tour of the hotel. To my left of the door is a closet. It's really pretty, I like the wood detail, which I think is very fitting of um, Phoenix, cause you know, the vibes. Uh, this is just what it looks like has all of our amenities all of our amenities extra hangers for the people that love to unpack and extra rack space for the people that love to unpack then to my right is the bathroom i don't really like the bathroom i think i don't know maybe it's just a room that i have and i think i have a corner room so maybe this is why but the Overall look of the bathroom is really beautiful. I just don't like how close the door is to the toilet and that it's immediately next to the shower. But that's just me. I can be picky, but it looks like it's gonna be an amazing bath. And overall the aesthetics is really nice. I just don't like the layout of it all. And then let's get into the room. Love the browns, beautiful browns and grays browns grays and blacks just i think goes so well together this is what it's looking like it's a really pretty room i like it i will show you my view in a second you know you always have to have the little artwork on the wall like it wouldn't be a hotel without an artwork on the wall and i think the lighting looks really really good it actually really sets the mood for the room this lamp right here I would actually put that in my house. It's really pretty. I like how they have two different lamps. You know, make it what's asymmetrical or something. And you have a full body mirror. It's actually a really nice room. Very amazingly decorated. Gives a modern but still has this rustic look to it. We love it. Now let me show you my view really quickly. So I think this is the best part of my view. Just this right here the mountains in the back honestly I couldn't have asked for a better view I, I mean this little building right here can go but overall I think the view is really nice I can't complain so pretty grateful about that part I know you want me every day not only when you're lonely yeah you see you think you know me but you don't even know nothing about me yeah you see my thick thighs that's when you look into my brown eyes Alright, so as a flight attendant, uh, I've always seen videos where they say to check your bed. So I'm gonna tear this up. And if you guys have watched a couple of my videos, then you'll know that I just, when I'm in bed, let me look at the sheet. I think they burnt the sheet. That's, I mean, that's my hope is burnt. They burnt the sheet. I don't know. Is it dirt or is it burnt? It looks like they burnt it. And search. It looks pretty good to me. Also looks pretty comfortable. They definitely folded the sheets inside out. Okay. Good. I don't know. The, sh the sheet looks a bit dirty. I'm gonna call the front desk and let them know. I don't really like it. There's too much stains over the sheet for it to just be the iron. I'm gonna show you. Okay, exhibit 
number one i don't know it, it's not focusing the best right now there we go let me put my hand close so you can see that's just one mark that looks like somebody's footprint that's another mark like this is gross it's actually dirty i don't know there's another mark over there somewhere i'm gonna call them and it's it's inside out why is the sheet inside? <laughs> let me call them right now they're gonna send housekeeping up to change the sheets um I don't know, I've never really experienced that before, but it was just making me uneasy. One mark could have been a burn mark, but like three and four, that's questionable. Uh, but other than that, I still like the way the hotel looks. I still love the decor. I mean, it's just, it is one of the best um, decorative hotels I've seen. So we're going to change. I'm just going to wait for housekeeping to come. I'm going to pull out my other security stuff that I got from my amazing B squad. My amazing B squad. Um, from my Amazon wish list. They've got me some amazing things. And I got like a door lock thing from our office in in flight so that was actually really amazing i didn't have to buy that on amazon i think they've been watching and seeing that people really really want this stuff so i think it was great that they gifted us i believe it was on no it was like some promotion that they were doing throughout some of the bases and it was one of the gifts that they had so that was really amazing of them uh i do want to walk around phoenix and see what they got going on in the downtown phoenix area i have another one of my crew members here with me and she's absolutely amazing she wants to go to like a restaurant and a bar but honestly like i'm a i'm a walker i'm a walker i'm an activity type of person and i realize like i'm not like i'm not even i think i'm my sister hey girl if you're watching this hey my sister would have been the perfect person for her to go to a restaurant and bar with because that's just her thing but me i'm realizing like i'm easily disappointed by food and i just don't want to go to a restaurant there's only a couple places that i really want to go to a restaurant and that's in japan um i will always want to go to a restaurant in jamaica um and yeah i'm not really that pressed press is not the right word i'm not excited to go to a restaurant in a different city unless it's like somewhere in asia somewhere in maybe africa somewhere in south america other than that and like probably other caribbean islands other than that i'm not really excited like i don't be excited to go to restaurants in new york i feel so bad but i'm just not and i'm not excited to go to restaurants like in europe it took me so long if you watch the spain vlog you know it took me so long to even find a restaurant to like to sit down at in in barcelona not that the food isn't great that's not what i'm saying it's just i'm i'm a food person but i'm so picky like i have to be i don't know it's just so hard to describe i'm not every and every like, I, I don't know i don't know if i'm getting the, the explanation across i don't know if i'm getting i'm a picky eater that loves to eat and that's not the best combination uh so yeah we're just waiting on housekeeping let me stop chatting off with my ears girl ear is done I'm gonna wash my face take off this red lipstick put on them lip gloves okay i'm rambling i'm rambling bye good night guys it's actually really crazy how I got dressed and everything and put on my nice jacket, put on my shoes and then I was like, oh, the bed just looks so comfy. Let's just lay down a little bit. Those words never have good outcomes. It is 2.22 a.m. Oh my lord, I don't even know. Um... I really do want to do the day trip. I'm just going to have to like jump on it right now. Let me go find. Oh, I'm tired. 
I would be getting up like in about two hours. I'm gonna go find it. We are all ready. Unfortunately, the excursions that I wanted to do, you have to book them at least three days in advance. So I found a Japanese garden and it's about a 20 minute walk away. I'm gonna walk down there. And there's a sushi restaurant, there's two of them in the same parameter. And there's a museum, which is perfect because after 3 p.m. the museum is free. So I think that's just perfect on Wednesdays, it's free, which is the Phoenix Art Museum. So I'm gonna head to that and this is my outfit. I have this little top, this little crop top from Zara. This pants, this Audrey Hepburn type black pants. It's from Shein and I have my black flats from Tory Burch. My little trusted tote bag from J. Crew. And we're gonna head on down. So let's go. Before we go, I just want to show you, I've kept this on my door last night and it's a door stopper and when you put batteries in the bottom, whenever, you know, the door tries to open and it's pressed on, it the alarm goes off. So this has been really, really perfect. I'm just going to leave it in here. I am leaving tonight and I had my phone on the charge. So now we can truly go. <laughs> I'm walking to the Japanese gardens now and guys Phoenix is hot <laughs> it is so hot I put on sunscreen on my face thank God because I forgot my shades but it is hot and I know we're in the desert but Jesus oh my god there's not even a wind like do you see the trees they're not moving <laughs> I mean barely but yeah it's really pretty though I really like it um, I love any place that looks like summer, if that makes sense. Like palm trees, nature, like desert, tropical. I like places that look like that. So this is absolutely amazing. Oh my God, the shade feels so good. It is so weird. I need to make a turn, a left turn here. So like I said, it's a 21 minute walk. So I'll just show you all the cool things I see on this walk. And I got my ticket, it was $10. I'll leave the link down below. I'll leave the link to everything that I check out today down below in the description. So just drop a comment, share, like, and subscribe for more. Here we are. It is pretty empty. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty empty. Like, I'm in the downtown area and you know, I kind of would have expected to see more people but the streets are quiet. Maybe when I get over to the Japanese gardens, there'll be more people in that area but for where I am right now, it's silent. Which is really nice if you like a city but you like a suburban quietness vibe, maybe this will be the type of place for you. One of my crew members from training is she lives in Phoenix and she's based in Dallas um, Pom that's her name she's so amazing she said she watches some of my videos so Pom if you're watching this right now shout out to you girl um, I wish you were here but she has um, her days today for uh, reserve I'm gonna ask her how she does it because it's crazy um how she does it it is hot and that is saying a lot because i'm coming from an island and you'd think that i would understand i mean and to some degrees i do but this is different <laughs> this is very different but hopefully i get to come back and see her again and maybe she can show me like more local things to do but any little bit of shade I get from these trees is well worth it. Well, well worth it. So I'm walking up to the Japanese garden entrance now. I think I have more, like a half a block more left to walk. Um, I've been seeing a lot of cute shops, like this restaurant here. 
I've been seeing a lot of cute places. Like, the decor over here is nice. They're making it work for them. Especially outdoor seating areas, which we all love in the summertime. Yeah, looks really nice. There's a coffee shop, so I think I might stop at the coffee shop on my way back because it looks really packed so that's a good sign that they got some going on right but i just want to show you look japanese friendship garden right down the road so let's go here we are guys look we're here and immediately it's so pretty immediately you can see all the koi fishes well you can't see them i'm gonna try to get some nice pictures on my phone so i can prop it up um but it's so beautiful it's so beautiful oh i think jamaica would do well with one of these oh my god how beautiful oh i'm leaving tonight tonight at 11 o'clock I'm sitting down um, well as you guys can see <laughs> but so far so good it is really really beautiful here um, Kai is calling me Kai say hi to the vlog hi vlog <laughs> yeah. hi V squad <laughs> so me and Kai are going to talk, go enjoy nature, uh, get some more video shots for you guys and then I'm going to walk back to the coffee shop that I told you about and then we're going to go to the Japanese restaurant that's near the hotel. So, this is just so beautiful. Look at the koi fish. almost time for the park to close which is about the next 10-15 minutes I'm just gonna head on out I circled the whole way I sat down I took it in um, it's just absolutely so beautiful I definitely will be back here again the next time I come to Phoenix but now it's time for us to go get some coffee and to go get some food so let's go I stopped in a restaurant I'm um, on my way and I think I'm gonna get the katsu so this is what it looks like let's put in our order and I'll get back to you they're playing music as you can hear so I can't talk for long I've got my first drink well it's a non-alcoholic beverage <laughs> um, it's the mango lemonade or I think it's mango lemonade it looks really really nice and it tasted amazing I got my katsu so let's take a look at it and dive right in this is what it's looking like I got the katsu with a lot of stuff in it oh my god I'm gonna send a picture to Kai it's so good and I got some chopstick. This is the leftover, all done. When I'm leaving, I'll talk back to you guys. But ooh, it was so good. And the drinks is done. Wow. That was really good. Literally. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. 
really really high I feel seven pounds heavier and I definitely am bloated and walking like I'm two months so that is really funny so nice <coughs> excuse me <coughs> yeah apologize I don't know if you know that as a sign but if you visit a place and then you go home and you look up the rent it's somewhere that you could possibly live so it's not a bad place it's really cute especially if I had an apartment like some of these cute ones that I'm walking by I wouldn't mind it it's not a bad space be for real look at this house oh my god be completely for real it's so beautiful still got a ways to walk but I feel like I'm walking off the food which is really good I made it back to the hotel and oh my goodness thank God to the person that created AC because without you my guy <laughs> I would have been dying so I'm very 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 glad that the AC was on and running I'm gonna change I think I'm gonna bring my laptop up with me I don't have any idea of where the pool is but I think it might be upstairs I'm gonna actually just call and find out I'm probably sick and tired of me calling um, but it's currently 1 17 and I have about seven hours until the pickup van will come for me so I think I'm gonna watch some movies I may take a two-hour nap may if the pool is upstairs go up to the pool but other than that i'm done with outside it is so hot i'm so grateful i don't even know if i did catch you guys up but the tour that i wanted to book i would have had to book it three days in advance so i couldn't get to go on that tour and that's why i went out and walked around the downtown phoenix area i'm just really glad i went to the japanese friendship garden it was absolutely beautiful um you already saw all of that so let's call and find out if they have the pool on the roof or if it's somewhere else because i would love to get some more sun just not walk in the sun okay this doesn't even work i don't, I don't know what the point of this is but it's so cool what it doesn't turn on i don't know if it's something that i need to do so i'll just use the phone directly from here I was just wondering if the pool is on the roof. You're welcome. Alrighty. So we know where the pool is. Let's go put on our swimsuits and check out the pool. I have my lovely black swimsuit that I've just been carrying around. I'm definitely going to do a what I pack in my flight attendant bag video or just an unboxing and q and not unboxing, on pack my bag with me in Q&A type of video so look out for that I think I might do that tomorrow when I reach home because I'll be reaching home in the a.m. so let me change and I'll be right back and here oh Jesus <laughs> not the transition failing I don't know if I've showed you it on probably but love the way it look it is also from Shein and this is what the back is looking like so it's a really nice swimsuit the shirt is also from Shein and then I wear my black shoes already I actually put away my tote bag but we're gonna take it right back out so I really like it because you can fold it up and tuck it away but I'm gonna bring my laptop upstairs with me water my camera you know the wallet and ID um and i'm gonna bring my other laptop stuff so i can just either watch a movie or lay down and edit i'm gonna also grab a towel from the room because you already know how we love to forget towels over here there may be towels upstairs like most hotels always have like towels per guest but you never know so I'm not gonna chance it. I 
I'm gonna bring one of these little tiny ones. I love water and some snacks. Boy, the bag heavy. Oh my god. I was watching Black Mirror and I'm almost done. Turn off the lights. I'm looking for you. Alright, guys. Bye. We're up on the roof. Got my water out because it is still a little bit hot, but I do want to look a bit of a tan. And I don't know, like, I want to look a nice tan on my chest. So, I don't know. They got music going on. I don't know what kind of music this is. I don't know if I'm going to get demonetized, so I'm going to make it quick. I already laid out my towel. I'm going to people watch a little bit and just enjoy myself out here. until I go back to the room to see but I basically just folded down my bikini yeah I folded it down so I think in my shoulder because it's so thick I didn't want like a really thick tan line but if I don't think I can tame that's what it looks like before but this is not today this has been over a period of months so I'm really trying to get a lot deeper so this is what it looks like i figured that the water would help but no it's so cloudy so cloudy I was watching a YouTube video, but yeah. There's my crew member right there. Alright. Back in the hotel. So, I showered, got ready, and everything because we do leave around 9 30, 9 40 to go back to the airport. And currently, it is. 5 42 p.m um i'm pretty full with food but my crew member that you guys saw in the previous clips she said to definitely get something to eat because we're doing a red eye home she also said to get a take a nap so i should be taking a nap right now but um she said definitely get something to eat because um the restaurants in the mall not the mall in the airport will be closed and we're not gonna have none to eat <laughs> so the place that i went to they have 50 percent off for their happy hour for the food and the food was just so amazing i'm searching it up right now i think it's only in phoenix which is so crazy they need to expand but I feel like if they keep expanding, maybe the quality won't be the same and the price won't be the same. So uh, sometimes you're just going to have hidden gems in other cities. And since I'm a flight attendant, I'm okay with that. Mm. Give me a second. I need to figure out what's going on. I'm going to go get some sushi or something to eat before we leave. So... I need some oil. I need to oil my scalp. For now, we're gonna put it in the middle. I'm trying to decide which island I want to go to next month. I have five days off. 
and I think that would be perfect to go somewhere and I really want to go to Colombia with Ashley yes yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what other island I want to go to I've been thinking Barbados I've been thinking St. Lucia the same island them that I said guys help me pick an island for me and mommy to go to I'm gonna pop that up right here overwhelming amount of people voted for Costa Rica then I think it was St. Lucia then it was Trinidad and Tobago and then it was Barbados if I'm recollecting it right and I really 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 want to go to these islands but I'm like let me go to something different something that I just don't see a lot of on YouTube and granted like the islands that I did search up that I would be interested in going I do see them I just don't see a fair amount and I think there's so many videos on St. Lucia there's so many videos on Barbados there's so many videos on Costa Rica I'm just trying to figure out where I want to go you know I may end up going to one of those previous choices but I'm trying to step out the box a little bit uh, so if you are from any island drop it down below let me know like where you'd want to see me go when I have a fair amount of days off and what well, is the next thing I think you, I might even already be in said island by the time this video is going up. So just be on the lookout for that content. Make sure you check me out on TikTok and Instagram. And yeah, you never know when I'm maybe popping up in your island. So let's go get some sushi and I'm going to come back. I'm already packed, thank the Lord. The only thing I need to put back in the suitcase is the clothes that I'm wearing. And a travel bag that I got from a subscriber. It's on my flight attendant wish list and it folds into itself. Oops, I don't think one of them was zipped up. It folds into itself and then it zips up like this. This is just so amazing. Like, you guys got me gifts that I want. I'm just so grateful. So now I just hang it up in the bathroom. When I'm done hanging it up, this hooks in and then it like I said, folds over and zips up. So this is one of the amazing gifts that I receive. I still have the notes. And when I do that flight attendant video that I've been talking about, I'm going to put this stuff in the video and the note card. So still have a little bit of something on the list. If you want to check out the list, it will be in the pinned comment. Don't feel forced to buy anything. You absolutely don't have to. But if you want to, there's some stuff still on that list. So make sure you check it out if you're interested. And enough of me rambling. Let's go get the sushi. This is some type of shopping center. It's called the Arizona Center. <laughs> so I think, if I'm not mistaken, the sushi place should be right over here. And guys, the heat. Oh my goodness. Like, I can't even. It is so hot. It is literally after, what, seven o'clock and it's a hot. And plus a lot of the restaurants are closed. So I really hope the sushi place that I'm interested in, which I just saw the name way in the corner is open. It is a nice little area. I can give it that. It's really nice, really calm and quiet. And just like that, we're at our sushi place. Oh, they have a little artwork station. Gallery number four. That is so nice. Wow. I like the infrastructure of Phoenix. I like what they do with their space. Really, really nice. Buzzer. I think that's nice. So I got a nice good tan because I don't have no makeup on, just skincare, just so solution. Since we are shut up on your ears, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you back at the hotel to show you what the food looks like. Yaki chicken with the white rice, amazing. I've got my salmon 
sushi with cream cheese. I got my side salad. Amazing. And I got my miso soup. So I've got less than an hour and 30 minutes to eat this. I think I'm going to bring some of the sushi and bring some of the teriyaki chicken with me in this on the plane. And then everything else, like these big boxes and that, I'm just going to try to consume what I can and bring a, a snack for the plane in this. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys when I'm fully dressed and heading out the door. I'm all done. I'm just checking. See if I've left anything. I know I got my work phone. Got my regular phone. My IDs are on my neck. Um, I got all my chargers and everything. My bag's packed. All my clothes are in where they need to be in not leaving anything and i'm early so i'm gonna lock up my suitcase and that's really it anywho child that is it i just want to tell you guys i appreciate you so much thank you for watching my vlog you really have put me in a position to just give you guys the best content i really appreciate you it means the world to me like I, I don't even know what to say i don't even know what to say i just i'm so appreciative to every single last one of you those who only comment those who only like those who are subscribed and aren't subscribed if you're watching this video now and have watched any of my other videos you have shown like support even if you hated my video even if you hate me you have shown my channel support and trust me that helps to build me as a person that helps to build my character that helps to build my craft so i appreciate you good and bad thick and thin Bye.